Hi, uh, I'm Neil. What I'm going to do is I'm going to show you today a um, quick tutorial on how to add a section size to the advanced still section library. What we're going to do, we're going to add uh, a piece of square hollow section. Been asked to do this by a customer. It's 16 by 16 by 1.2 wall thickness. Now I'm not sure that is a standard UK square hollow section size. I think it's probably something um, like a cold DIN EN10219 size, something like that. But the point is it doesn't matter really because the libraries in advance still are not really material specific. What it does, the libraries group the material and I'll demonstrate that. So I've gone into management tools and we're going to go into table editor. We're going to edit one of the databases in advance still. And to access the databases, there's nothing here. We need to click on this icon, which it says open ODBC. So let's click on that. And uh, here they are. These are the databases. Within those databases, we've got a number of tables. And the one, the database we're interested in is the ASTA profiles. The clues in the name, profiles, one of the easier ones to remember. And we're going to expand that by clicking on the uh, arrow here. And here we are. These are the tables of section sizes. So let's pick on one here. Not much in that one. Some uh, angle stuff here. The Canon section. It's got some Chinese stuff. All right, so you get the idea. So these are tables within a database and each table contains different material. So this is what I'm saying. If I wanted to add a square hollow section to a table, I could put it anywhere I like, as long as I remember where I put it, because I'll be looking for this table back in advanced still once we use the section. So what I'm going to look for, I'm going to look for uh, EXT UK sections. So here we are. EXT UK. These are most of the European, uh, sorry, beg your pardon, the UK sections. And what I'm going to do I'm going to add this to the UK um, square hollow section table. Just gone past it. So here we are. So the table itself is going to be this one here. Sections square warm. So that's hot rolled, hot rolled square hollow section, cold rolled here. But uh, I'm going to access the table. And you can see it's square hollow section. This is 100, 100 by 10, as you can see, 100, 100 by 4. This is what you see when you use this section. This is what you see in the drop down list. And I'm not interested in the order of this. What I'm looking for is this blank line at the bottom. And this is where I enter a new material size. So irrespective of whether or not 16 by 16 by 1.2 is a true square hollow section size, it doesn't matter. If I put it in here, I'm going to know where it is. Uh, the designation is just going to say square hollow section. No confusion there. So let's just add it to this library. So all I need to do is click in the first box and I'm going to follow this format, this format. So we're going to call it square hollow section. 16 by 1.2. There it is. And while I'm in here, I'm going to copy this. I'm going to need it again in a minute. And I'm going to paste the same thing into this section name. The standard name, this uh, has to be a unique name. This is what you see in the system. OK, standards and reserve. These are settings, system settings. We're going to copy those one on one. Now, this next one, owner text, a lot of people, what they do, they think ah, DSC, we'll call this one DSC. What will happen when you migrate to your settings to the new version of advanced still, if I call this DSC, which I can do, so beg your pardon, DSC, the system won't know that this line has been added and it will ignore it in any migration of the database settings. 
So we want to change this and I've got some here. I've set up one for a customer there, CAD Solutions, Grizz, the old Grey Tech one. Um, we can use any of these. I'm going to use UK one, providing it's different from the DSC. So it's different from the default database. Then we can uh, use that and the system will recognize it. Profile height. I think we can probably guess what that's going to be and profile uh, width. We can do that and the web thickness. Again, we know what that is. Now here we are radius, radius one and two. So looking at this radius one is the outside radius of the corner and R2 is the inner. I've looked for this material online and I couldn't find any data on this. So what we're going to do, you'll probably find a safe bet is the internal radius would be one times thickness. So if I put the one times thickness internal, of course, then the outside would then be 2.4 for a 1.2 wall. Don't know this surface area. I could work it out. I could draw probably a little 2D um, representation of this. I can get AutoCAD to work this out. We don't need to know this. I can leave these blank. And what's going to happen, the system is going to populate this. Profile type. Uh, I've got this other one here, which is thickness again, which is 1.2. So just fill in what, what you can see. Just fill in what you know. The ones you don't, don't worry about it. The system's going to work that out for you. Okay. So I'll just put some numbers in here. You can see these are all zero. I can't. By the look of it, so let's make that zero, 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 zero. Of course, I can tab as well. I want to work a bit quicker. I can tab, and you'll notice when you look down here, moment of inertia. I don't know what that is. If you knew it, of course, you could put it in. That's no problem. Um, uh, elastic uh, modulus and all that sort of stuff. So I don't know. I'm going to leave those blank unless I'm doing structural analysis. It's not going to be too critical. If we go further along, you can see we've got a lot of country settings here. These are what are effectively the uh, translation of the part. So if it was some funny name, I don't know. It may translate different in German than it does in English, etc. So we put a translation in here as it is. It's going to be recognized by the same designation, whichever country you go to. So I'm just going to copy this in. I'm going to copy this in. And um, I'm not going to bore you with this. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to carry on and I'm going to edit all the bits out in the middle. And I'll see you at the end. So here we are now. We're at the end. Just about to put the last one in. And that's it. So you can see I've entered all of these. I didn't bore you with that. I put in as much information as I know. I've left out the bits that I don't. Notice I didn't put any weight in. There's nothing in here for weight. Some sections do have a weight per meter and some don't. If it doesn't have a weight per meter, what it's going to do, it's going to calculate the weight according to the section size. So you don't need to worry about that. I notice there's no save button. There's no apply button. There's no update button. You don't need it in a database. What it's going to do, it's going to write these values to the database on the fly. Just to check what I'm going to do, I'm going to change the table. So I'm going to go up to uh, square cold rolled and I'm going to come back to the hot rolled again. And I'm just going to go down to the bottom and I'm going to check yet yeah, still there. So it's written to the system and I'm done. So I'm just going to close. I don't need to close the database before I close the tables, just close the whole thing. If I want to use this straight away, the next thing I'm going to do, I'm just going to go from the home ribbon. Under settings, I'm going to click on update defaults. There it is. What that does, that just updates all the tables in the system. So I'm ready to go and hopefully that section will be there. I'm sure it will be. So I'm going to select from here rectangular uh, and square hollow section. And I'm going to draw one in starting at zero zero. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to draw it um, a metre long. Just bear with me a minute. Let's 
just lost myself in the system there so I'm going to start from there and I'm going to draw this one meter long and there it is and of course what I need to do is go into the properties of this and go and find my new piece well I put it down a square hollow section and I've got some preferred sizes in here, so I need to click on all. And there it is, 16 by 1.2. And if we go into the properties of this, we can see it's actually worked it out at 0.56 per meter. So uh, I had 0.54 when I looked it up, but this is going to be uh, this is going to be accurate enough. If I look at the end here, let's go one more thing. Let's go into again advanced properties. Let's go into display type, exact with edges. So these are the radii that we entered in the table. If I left that at zero and didn't put any in, you wouldn't get this. You would just get the standard display type. And I don't need to do anything else. You can see, because I put it into a library, that all the offset positions work as any other section. I can uh, rotate the section, same as any other. So it's not like putting in a user section, we're actually adding to a library, so all these are set in the library. All we're doing is adding the uh, section size. So there it is, simple enough, you can do that on any section. And uh, I'll um, in the future I'll do another video, I'll show you how to create a complete new table and how to uh, add that to the system as well. But just adding a section simple as that. Have a, uh, have a good day until we speak again.